What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, I'm Pokedubs, and today we're going to be taking a look at a fun deck that uh, I didn't think we'd be looking at anytime soon, or if ever again. Gengar VMAX has had a resurgence in the online tournament circuit lately, and we're going to be taking a look at just how powerful it can look in the Paldea Evolved format. So let's jump right over into the deck profile and see what we got going on. Alright guys, so here we've got the ever so beautiful Gengar VMAX. Now this is a deck that did pretty okay last year um, when it was first featured in Fusion Strike. Uh, obviously Mew VMAX being the main deck coming out of Fusion Strike. With a dark weakness, Gengar put up a little bit of a fight, but uh, Mew VMAX just reigned too powerful uh, for anything to really take it over. But we've got the Gengar V, which can have the Pain Explosion tack for 190 base damage, and you put three damage counters on this Pokemon. Uh, every now and then you can get a cheeky play in with a Dark Slumber for 40 base, and then your opponent's Pokemon is now asleep. So ideally you could stall them for a turn, hopefully they don't flip heads um, at Pokemon checkup going into their turn, and they stay asleep. Um, so it can do 190 base damage, but in here, as you might expect, we are playing the Single Strike Energy, which we featured in my last deck profile of Lugia. These do 20 extra damage for each Single Strike Energy attached to your Pokemon. So you don't see any Arceus in here. You don't see a Lugia. You might be wondering how we're going to be accelerating these energy. That's where Houndour and eventually Houndoom come in. It's got the Single Strike Roar ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Single Strike Energy and attach it to one of your Single Strike Pokemon. Then, shuffle your deck. If you attach the energy to a Pokemon in this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So you can stack the Houndoom's Single Strike Roar ability. So ideally, you're going to have two of these out, uh, at least, with a Gengar, and you want to have at least one Bidoof Bibarel out for the drop power. And then we get into the Gengar VMAX, really, really good at taking care of um, all of the V and EX Pokemon. It can pretty much take a one-hit KO on almost anything in the format, including Duraludon VMAX, which has the ever-so-annoying 330 HP. Uh, first off, it's got the Fear and Panic Attack, 60 times the amount of Pokemon V and GX in play. Obviously, GX is not uh, in the format right now, but that's going to be... Very beneficial against a lot of these V-based decks, like the Arceus Duraludon one. Um, you can start to stack up that 60 damage pretty quickly. That is worth noting, though, that this 60 damage is not going to count for EX Pokemon, as you'll see in one of the games coming up. Um, I even forgot about that, so you, sometimes you got to resort to the big old G-Max Swallow-Up for 250 base damage. The only caveat is that during the next turn, the Pokemon can't attack. So basically, we play quite a few switch out options. We play one escape rope, and we rock in three switch in here, which is awesome because I, I tend to like a deck that offers a lot of switch out opportunities just because you never know what is going to happen. So other than that, we got four battle VIP pass to hopefully get our board set up on turn one. We also have the single strike Eveltal um, in here with the single strike wings for 110. And then you're doing 20 extra damage for each single strike energy attached. So this is a good one prize attacker. Um, because if there's one thing that Gengar VMAX doesn't like very much, it is single prize decks. Um, you can kind of get by with um, some of the attacks of the Gengar V, but you're really going to want to be offering some sort of single prize attacker. And even then, um, Houndoom can kind of come in if it needs to. Uh, we've got one Super Rod in here, four Ultra Ball, Got the four urn of vitality, which I think is uh, is a good call. Um, this exact 60 is again from Gabriel Smart. Thanks and shout out to him for the list that he covered. And I'm noticing right now that this is a, a change that he made because I believe the initial list either had two or three urn, and I I just like the feeling of four. Four feels very very good. Uh, we got four Path to the Peak, so if you're wondering how we're going to be hitting Duraludon VMAX when uh, Pokemon with special energy attached cannot attack Duraludon VMAX, 
we shut that ability off with Path to the Peak, and then we can just hit right through it, get a nice one-hit KO on it. We got four Iono for Disruption, two Judge as well. Um, then we got four Research for the draw power. We've got two Forest Seal Stone. This has actually come in really, really handy in this deck. Uh, since we're not using any V-Star powers on anything else, this is super nice um, to be able to go get... You're usually in a situation with Gengar VMAX where there's just one card at a time that you really want to get, and the Forest Seal Stone definitely helps with that. So in addition to the Single Strike Energy, we are rocking four Dark Energy, um, just so we can we can be attaching other things for turn. We can uh, Single Strike Roar, uh, some of the single strike energies for the turn and then just be attaching darkness energy as well to kind of spread that out a little bit so with that said this is a pretty straightforward deck um the idea is to just get off to the races with aggressive damage and put a stop to a lot of the uh big attacker decks and get their get to six prizes before they can so with that Let's jump into some games and see how quick this thing can get set up. All right, let's jump into a game with good old Gengar VMAX. I'm really, really curious to see how this deck will do right now. Um, I had played a variant of Gengar VMAX at Milwaukee last year, um, and it didn't go very well. Gengar VMAX really likes, uh, like bigger Pokemon V decks and stuff uh, for those big knockouts. And I ended up facing a lot of single prize decks and it just, uh, it wasn't Gengar's day to shine that time. So we'll see how this goes. We got a mulligan here. I think we're going to start off with the, uh, we'll start off with the Gengar. Got a battle VIP pass and the path to the peak. So, We'll see what we can do. I'm a, they're going to go first up against Chen Pao. So this could be good. I'm going to go first. Okay, so we'll go Hound Hour here. Um, actually, it's correct to battle VIP pass first to go see what we have in the deck. Um, let's show all here. We've got Hound Hour there. That's good. All four single strikes in the deck, that's that's good to note. We've got all of our paths, which is really good. Path is going to be extremely strong in this matchup. Um, I think here I'm going to grab... Let's see. I almost want to grab one more Gengar, but I think we're fine. Let's grab a Bidoof and a Hound Hour. I'm going to attach an Energy. And I'm going to lay down path, and hopefully that'll shut them down enough. And we're going to pass. So that's going to shut off that Shivery Chill ability, so they won't be able to go get water energy. Which will be helpful. They got a battle VIP pass, so... They're going to get set up. Which is fine. They're playing the Palkia in here, okay. So if Path of the Peak can stick for a while, that'll be helpful. Um, they bump it with Lost City. That's fine. So they got the Shivery Chill off. They should not be able to attack here, though. Because um, it's their first turn with the Frigibax. They can't get Bax Caliber out. They can't accelerate the energy. Um, so we should be safe for now. So we're really going to hope that our Iono can give us a good hand here. Actually, I think I'm going to go with the research there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and evolve to the Gengar VMAX just because I like the idea of higher HP in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and research. And that is pretty good. Um... Except we have two single strike energies in the hand, which is not fantastic, but it's not the end of the world either. Let's go grab, at this point, I think I want to grab another Gengar um, to be safe here. So 
we'll do that. We're gonna attach one of these single strike energies here, and then we will single strike roar another one onto the active. And we might be able to fear and panic for the knockout, no? Not quite. Oh yeah, because it's it's based on V's uh, and not EX's. So we're gonna have to G Max swallow up, which is not great, but it is what it is. So we'll get that first knockout, and we'll see we'll see how that goes. See what they get here. They got the Bax Caliber. This could get pretty scary. I'm not going to be surprised if uh, they're able to knock out the Gengar VMAX, which will be not great. <laughs> Yikes. So they missed the knockout, which is not good for them. Uh, we'll go ahead and attach here. Um, let's see. I almost want to be... Nah. We'll go ahead and single strike roar to the other Gengar. This can't attack this turn, so that's mildly unfortunate. But I could, let's see. Go here and here. And I think I wanna grab a beeper L here and draw some cards. I'm gonna bench the Aveltal because I might be able to get use out of that as an attacker here. Um, let's Industrious Incisors for three cards. I don't know, Research would be pretty good. I don't want to Iono them because they only have one card, so we're gonna risk getting rid of this urn here. I'm looking for some switch outs at this point. So that's not great. <laughs> um, We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, I had to insert myself into this because as I was editing the video and watching this, I realized that I did indeed make a pretty big misplay here. Uh, Could have gotten the knockout a lot quicker than I thought I would. So right here, I just researched and I got literally everything I needed. Um... I didn't want to retreat because I didn't want to waste any energies, but as you'll see, I drew an urn of vitality here. So I could have hard retreated the Gengar. I would have lost out on the basic darkness energy, but it doesn't matter. Um, I could have used the urn of vitality to put those single strike energies back into the deck. I could have promoted this Gengar, evolved it into the VMAX, and then I could have used this fresh Houndoom's single strike roar to put the other energy back onto the Gengar. And we would have had the knockout a turn sooner. Luckily, it doesn't impact the game a whole lot, but it's important to come back and analyze the plays that you make. Um, I'm not ashamed that I make misplays like this, but I feel like it's important to call them out. Um, you'll be playing the game for years and you'll still make uh, just you'll overlook things like this, um, especially in the moment when you're either recording a video or playing in a tournament. These things are easy to look over, so uh, I just wanted to call myself out on this misplay. Easily could have retreated the Gengar since it couldn't attack. I could have shuffled the single strike energies back into the deck, gotten a fresh Gengar up there, and then loaded up that third single strike energy back onto that one, and we would have been good to go. 
and we would have ended the game a lot sooner. Um, but it is what it is. So I wanted to point that out and uh, let you guys know that I messed up. So let's jump back into the game. What we can do, we'll evolve this Gengar. I could retreat, but I don't want to. Nah. We'll just go ahead and path. And then we will pass, which I don't love doing, but that's that's the uh, the subtext of GMAX Swallow Up is that uh, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. So hopefully the path is able to lock them in a spot where they're not able to do much because they're not going to need a lot of... Um, they don't need a lot of energy here to knock this out. They got the Laws Vacuum, so they're going to get rid of the path. And they're going to be able to knock that out, which is unfortunate. That's okay. They're going to star portal to get energy from the discard pile up to three. Okay. And then they're going to super cold the two. So they're really getting things loaded up here. <laughs> but that's fine. So they'll take three prizes here, which is not ideal, but I think we're okay. So we'll attach this energy for turn, and then we're going to earn a vitality, uh, the two single strike back into the deck. And then I think we will, let's see, could almost, I'm going to ultra ball these two away, go get a, another Gengar, I think, should be fine. And then we're going to industrious incisors for... Let's see. I should probably single strike Roar onto this other Gengar first to get these out of the deck. So we want to guarantee that we have two knockouts lined up. Um, so we're industrious incisors for five. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and path to the peak. And then we will G-Max swallow up for the knockout. Now, if they're able to get the knockout on this Gengar V-Max, obviously they win, and that's gonna be rough, but that's what we have to go with. Let's hope that the uh, the path of the peak kind of locks them out here. So they got that Greninja, but they can't use it. <laughs> I think they're trying to get off a Palkia attack here. Which won't quite do it. Uh, we'll see what they've got. They got two cards in hand. They have no abilities from Rule Box Pokemon right now. They've used their V-Star power. We'll see what they got. They're going to try to boss stall. I think probably the Bibarel. Or a Houndoom. Yes, yeah, so they don't have anything going on. I think they're going to try to... Yeah, they're going to knock this out. <laughs> Which is... Fine, they're just going to waste a lot of energy doing that. So, 
basically, uh, that was unfortunate for them because they just reset my Gengar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We are going to Star Alchemy for a switch, hopefully. We are going to Boss's Orders. No, I guess we didn't really need to do that. That was that was silly. And we will G Max swallow up for the win. The boss's orders was not necessary there. I'm not exactly sure what, what I was thinking. But uh, I, I guess I forgot that the Qian Pao was in the active. So either way, we didn't really need the boss's orders there. But uh, yeah, we got it got a little close. But eventually Gengar went off to the races in that one. Let's jump into another one here with Gengar VMAX. Let's see what we're up against. We got a Maridon deck box and a Maridon coin, so we'll see if they're sticking true. We do want to go first, yes. We'll try to get set up, see what we've got to kick things off here. Mm, starting with a Hound Hour is not great, but. It's fine. We'll take it. Hopefully we can get a Gengar, though. We want to start getting one of those set up. Wow, they're really they're really benching a lot there. Yikes. Um, okay. That's fantastic. Wow. What what a great start. <laughs> so we'll go with a Gengar. We might just go double Gengar here, actually, because we already have the Bidoof and we have a Houndour. So I think we'll preemptively go double Gengar. Um, that might not be the right call, but we're going to load it up here. And we'll start attaching there, and we'll see if we can just shut them off right away. Um, and we'll end the turn. Try to get that, that early path lock out, which will be super helpful if it actually works, because they can't get tandem unit off. They can't, uh, they can't bring up the Raikou and fleet footed for the one card. So we'll see. They hit one off of Electric Generator. They're going to attach for turn there. And then they'll be able to fast charge. But we'll see if the path sticks. And then we've got a fantastic turn two there. We've got the one energy and a research. So this could be a very strong start here. The Battle VIP pass is not, not great. Um, I'm going to attach here. We might get the Hound Hour stuck in the active, but that's a risk that I'm willing to take. So we'll research. So we've got not everything we need. <laughs> that's, that's okay. We'll go grab. I'm assuming this Hound Hour is probably going to get knocked out. So we'll, let's make sure we actually have what we need in here. We've got three Hound Doom. That's great. Got a lot of urns there. We've got another switch, which is good to note. Still got some paths. We got all of the single strike energies that we need. That's great. We got two VMAX. All right, I think I think we're good. We got at least one Bibril in there. So that's fine. Um Yeah, I think I think we have to just sit there. So that's fine. Uh, even if we were able to promote the Gengar, it wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway with this hand, so sometimes it'll just be like that. We gotta sit. Hopefully Path continues to lock them out of uh, setting up. So the Raichu is obviously gonna be able to do some serious damage here, but as long as they don't gust up one of my Gengar, I think we're chilling for a little bit. So we'll see what they're able to do. Raichu's a very scary uh, Pokemon in this matchup. Raichu can do a lot of damage. So they're going to fast charge again. So they're trying to build up a lot of energy. 
which they're really going for loading up that Raichu. So hopefully we can knock that thing out. That's not great. Um, I think, honestly, what we're going to do is we're going to switch into the Gengar and we're going to research and pray <laughs> that we can uh, we can get what we need here. So let's just go for it. Getting rid of two urns is not, not ideal. That is for sure. So we'll attach here. And then we're going to go and get the Gengar VMAX because I don't think... I mean, Pain Explosion is doing 230 right now. That's kind of insane, actually. Um, I don't know if I want to give them a uh, VMAX to be hitting here, but I think it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and go for it anyway. Because, yeah, Fear and Panic alone is going to be able to get that knockout. And I think they're going to be relatively far behind there. So we'll see how that goes. They don't have the Flaffy build going on, it looks like. So three energy in the discard pile for them right now is not going to feel great. So we've got the Raikou up there. The Raikou cannot take advantage of its ability. We'll see what they're able to pull off here. They're going to Lightning Rondo for 160. Okay. So we got a Gengar V there. It looks like the Path to the Peak is really doing its work, so we're going to stick that energy there. Uh, it's a bummer because Fear and Panic could almost get the knockout, but they don't have enough Vs out. Um... So I think we're honestly fine just going with the G-Max swallow up for this. Yeah, we wanna we wanna go ahead and get this knockout. So I think that's just what we gotta do, because they don't have any energies out. They're they're really struggling to get energies going here. So I think we're just going to overwhelm them with this. We got another energy and another Gengar V Max, so that's that's great. <laughs> So we're up two prizes to six. I don't think they've got a lot that they can get going on here. Looks like the path really shut them down. They're going to try to boss's order stall. And that's fine. Because then... So that this has happened twice in a row now. Um, the boss's order try to stall my Gengar, but they actually do me a favor because they end up resetting. Um, since I used GMAX Swallow Up, I wasn't able to attack, but since they... Uh, put it on the bench, and now I can promote it here. They ended up resetting me not being able to attack, so we can just go ahead and go right for that again and take the two-prize knockout win with Gengar. So that one really took off, showcasing the, the speed that Gengar can have, apparently, in this format. So it might actually be looking okay. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's gameplay with Gengar VMAX. Uh, it's a, definitely a deck that I'll be taking more of a look at, um, probably trying out at locals and stuff. I don't know that it would be super viable for like a regional or something, but luckily there aren't any of those coming up, uh, as we head into the world championships for 2023. Um, yeah, but hopefully you got a good look at how fast and powerful the deck can be, uh, in a meta populated by a lot of V and EX based decks. Uh, you can get off some quick damage, some quick knockouts and ideally overwhelm your opponent. Uh, if you like these types of videos, guys, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for more of these gameplay type videos mixed in with all the usual pack opening and other Pokemon related stuff. So until then guys, keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.